Powered by the Montana Television Network. Montana This Morning continues on Montana's News Leader. A powerful hurricane is barreling toward Hawaii. I'm John Schumo with a look at how residents and first responders are preparing. And new oil and gas leases are being sold for land near the Big Hole River in Beaverhead County. Coming up, how local residents look at the plan for possible drilling. 6.30 on this Thursday, Chet Lehman, Missy O'Malley with you. A powerful hurricane barreling towards Hawaii right now. That's right. Hurricane Lane is expected to get dangerously close to the Big Island and to Maui. John Shumo has our latest. A state of emergency in Hawaii for what could be the most damaging storm there in decades. I was here for Hurricane Eva 30, 30 years ago, and I know how bad it can be. And yes, I'm concerned. Residents are stocking up on supplies as Hurricane Lane churns toward their homes and businesses. Officials are preparing for the worst as the storm threatens to bring powerful winds and catastrophic flooding. We do not want to see what happened in Puerto Rico. And we do that by making sure we're prepared. Dramatic satellite images show the massive storm in the Pacific Ocean. FEMA already has 150 workers in Honolulu ready to respond. Please, if at all possible, consider sheltering in place at your own home if it's safe to do so. First responders from around the country are heading to Hawaii to help. These California firefighters are packing 40,000 pounds of equipment. We have boats, both uh, ridge hole inflatables and flat bottom, you know, more slow water. Uh, flood tight boats that we can use if in fact that becomes a problem. Public schools are closed for the rest of the week. In Hawaii, the surf's up as residents hunker down. John Shumo, CBS News. Now the most powerful storm to hit Hawaii was Hurricane Iniki, which is category four that made landfall in 92. It killed several people and destroyed more than 14,000 homes. Back here in Montana, we may be watching the Pacific Hurricane, but we're also fighting fires. Latest update from the Howe Ridge Fire burning on the west side of Glacier National Park shows the blade has burned just over 9,600 acres. The new number shows a decrease in size from over 11,000 acres that we reported on Monday. No explanation has been given for the change in numbers of acres burned. Fire managers say behavior was moderate on Tuesday, but the fire expected to pick up again as we move through the week. How Ridge Fire has burned more than 17 square miles, destroyed 13 homes and 14 other structures north of Lake McDonald. And as the fight against that fire continues, crews using a unique system to help protect the historic structures that are all still threatened inside the park. It's called Rain for Rent. It's now up and running around Lake McDonald Lodge. Firefighters pumping water from Lake McDonald to sprinklers running parallel to the Going to the Sun Road. This wets down large areas in case the fire reaches the lodge. We're wetting all of these fuels down. We're increasing that moisture content so that they're basically unavailable to burn. They won't support combustion. So we can have an ember land on it, but because they're wet, basically they won't ignite. Crews are also laying out thousands of additional feet of equipment to protect the lodge, more than 100 other buildings on the west side of Glacier National Park. And the Goldstone Beaver Creek Fire does continue to burn in sections of the Beaverhead, Deer Lodge, and Salmon Chalice National Forest. The Goldstone Fire, which is located about 18 miles south of Jackson, Montana, has burned 9,024 acres. It's at 7% containment. Crews are trying to contain the fire on both the Goldstone Pass Road and the Forest Service Roads on the south end of the fire. Beaver Creek Fire, located 18 miles northwest of Wisdom, has burned 2,067 acres. It's at 8% containment. Recent rains have slowed down the fires, but Operations Section's Chief Buck Wickham says that the first snow could be ultimately what puts out both of those fires. You know, uh, it's not uh, rain, just rain like we had the last couple of days is not going to stop either one of these fires. It'll make them hold down a little bit, but it's not going to put them out. I think to really call this fire out is going to mean, uh, you know, a snowfall. And no evacuations have been ordered for either of those fires. For a complete list of fires burning in the area, head on over to our websites. We're keeping them updated for you daily. And just to update, no snow in the forecast yeah, to make that happen, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yup, you got it. <laughs> just yeah. check. I just uh, want to make sure. <laughs> smoke still in the forecast. So I know, I get your hope. So. A little bit of smoke still out there. We've uh, had um, West Yellowstone's been in the green throughout the morning. That's not going to last very long. Yeah. Most of us dealing with moderate um, to even unhealthy air quality. 
for the most part. Temperatures into the 40s and 50s early on in the day. 39 in West Yellowstone right now. I expect the daytime highs to be into the 80s. The clouds are going to clear out of here, most likely uh, into the mid to late part of the morning. Unfortunately, we're still dealing with the smoky haze. We'll talk about what you can expect for the upcoming weekend coming up in just a few minutes. Thanks, Matt. 635 now for some Treasure State headlines. Great Falls Carnival worker accused of assaulting ride goers is back in court. Roberto Solomon Garcia pleaded not guilty to two felony and two misdemeanor counts of sexual assault. Court documents show Garcia sexually assaulted a total of four women between July 30th and August 1st. Two of them were under the age of 14. The victims claim that Garcia deliberately touched them as he was checking their seatbelts on the speedway ride. His trial has been set for October 22nd. And land in the area of some southwest Montana premium trout rivers could be opened up to oil and natural gas drilling. MTN's John Amy tells us what areas could be affected. The Bureau of Land Management is considering opening up thousands of acres of land for potential leasing for gas and oil drilling and hydraulic fracking along the Big Hole and Beaverhead watersheds. The BLM has opened up more than 12,000 acres of property along the Big Hole River and Beaverhead River, some of it in Madison County and much of it in Beaverhead County. It's an issue of much concern since the Big Hole River is considered a blue ribbon trout fishing river. This owner of a fly shop along the Big Hole River said this is a complicated issue that runs a delicate balance between jobs and protecting the environment. Well, everybody's trying to live here together and there's a lot of different industries that are competing for the same natural resources and um, I think the only thing that we can do is study it, um, you know, have some regulations and be careful. Some of the land that's being considered for leasing is this area south of Glen along the Big Hole River. Obviously I'd be concerned if it affects the quality of the river and you know my livelihood of course just looking at it from my viewpoint but I would be um, I could also understand the other side of the argument, which is, you know, uh, more energy for the country and potential revenues for the community. However, if anyone seriously considers oil and gas exploration along this river, some people say they hope they make the environmental impact a priority. That the checks and balances are in place and that the environment obviously should come first. Remediation plans should be in, in effect. Near Glen, John Amy, MTN News. John tells us the Bureau of Land Management giving the public until this Friday to comment on this issue. So more to follow on that, of for course. Sure. In other news, you may have seen some advertisements for free seminars promising amazing opportunities. Oh yeah, that's a fact. But consumer advocates in Montana say they hear from a lot of people who aren't happy with what they receive. In this week's Fraud Watch, MTN's Jonathan Embarian looks at what you need to know about your rights. The ads come as flyers or emails or TV commercials. They promise a unique opportunity. They're timeshares, they're travel clubs, they're health and wellness, and then they're business opportunities, work from home business. Montana's Office of Consumer Protection says they've seen a growing number of seminars around the state promoting these types of offers. What they'll do is they'll invite you to come and get a free lunch. And as we know, nothing is for free. Once you go to the seminar, you'll be given a sales pitch. Investigator Demery Nielsen says in most cases they're not outright scams. But once people sign the contract, they often find it isn't what they expected. It's so high pressured sales that people don't have the opportunity to take the time, read through those contracts, know what it is that you're signing up for. And it's not until a later date that our consumers are finding out this is not what was presented to me, this is not what I thought it was, and that's where the trouble comes in. OCP says if you go to a seminar, you should know what you're getting into. Do your homework. Check it out in advance. Do a Google. Review them. Look at their reviews for the individual companies. Do as much research as you can in advance so that when you're there, you, you know the questions to ask. In Montana, you have three days to change your mind and get out of the contract. But sometimes, the company might not respond to you until the three days are up. In that case, it's important to take note of how you tried to get out. If you've made a phone call, if you've sent them an email, um, you want to document all of that. If you mail them a letter, send it certified. Um, what, any way that you're trying to get out of that contract, you want to make sure that you document it. In Helena, Jonathan Ambarian, MTN News. 
Now, if you have any questions about seminars or other consumer issues, you can contact the Office of Consumer Protection. You can find more information on that on our websites. And as we always say, if it sounds too good to be true, it, it probably is. It is, is no it doubt is. about it. it Except always... when it comes to Montana this morning. That's right. It's even better than we promote it. <laughs> <laughs> Stay with us as I chuckle coming up after a quick break. <laughs> Now, I know you've heard of maternity leave and paternity leave. What? But what about fraternity leave? What? That's right. Taking time off work to bond with your new pet. We have a very interesting story for you in just a moment. That sounds rough. <laughs> but first, let's check in with Nora O'Donnell. Catch up on Thursday's headlines. Good morning ahead here on CBS This Morning. President Trump intensifies his fight against Michael Cohen, giving a new version of the hush payment story. And we'll hear from a mother who was refused help from 911 dispatchers when her daughter got stuck in a locked-in hot car. See you right at 7.